Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and I am Reid, and this is Reid's Beauty Trip. This is my team project pan, and I, from the ladies at um, Beauty News, they created this this project. I really like it. It's a year-round one. It's kind of like just using the things that you can use, you know, you want to kind of keep in your makeup basket and use and stuff. So, and a lot of times I have a weekly makeup basket that I try to keep everybody informed in and all that it's been a little crazy we're going to holiday season and that's when my clients really seem to think they need my attention no <laughs> um end of the year stuff consultations and all that but we're gonna pull my hair back real quick so we are um going to do this uh i picked only a certain amount so not all the categories are covered yet um, we'll get to that. Uh, I want to see how I do. This is a new, it's a big project pan, but it covers a lot. And, um, it kind of covers over some of the stuff that I'm kind of, uh, that I, I want to use up, that I want to get some time in and stuff. So, we're going to get started. And I'm just going to go through what's setting in front of me. Next time it'll be probably more in order because what I use up, I will trade out. So, first one is, it's going to be one of my, is my setting spray because it's, I'm just going this way and whatever set in here, I'm going this way. So it is my Urban Decay All Nighter Honey one. And so, and the thing is, is we can work on them. Every month we do an update and then every quarter though, say it's something you're just sick of trying to pan and work on, you can switch it out. So this one I want to use up. Um, the honey smell, you know, you would think you like it. I, I'm just not crazy about it. So I am excited to use this up. So that is part of my team project pan. Is my... I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Trying to get this all reorganized. The next one is um, my Lancome Absolute Makeup Foundation. This foundation I've had in my drawer for over for about 10 years. So, uh, it's in Ecru, because I'm a pasty, pasty person. I don't get much sun. And I just, I need to get this used up. So, it's set in my collection. It doesn't have SPF. Oh, it does have SPF. But it hasn't gone bad. I mean, obviously, the SPF does not work. But SPF in your foundation is so limited. I use SPF on top of it. Or underneath, anyway. I use sunscreen. <laughs> the spray or the face or whatever. I use it. Uh, I'm a huge supporter of that. So I think it's not going to take me long to use this one. I think I just cracked the bottom of it. I dropped it on the ground. Um, I was holding this up earlier. Now I think I shook it up. I think it's... Uh, let's just mark it. It looks like, I mean, I'm almost done with it. So I don't know how many more pumps I'm going to get out of it. But it's on its way out. I just want it, like I said, I looked at it and I think, yeah, it's right there. So that's one of the foundations I really want to use up in the month of January. So I'm hoping it will be <sighs> The next one, I'm cleaning as I go. This is the kind of day I've had. Uh is my concealer. It is a Revlon concealer. It is my photo ready one. It is my stick. It was in my A to Z project pan last year. I am hoping there's not much left to it. I just want to use it up. I want to finish this off. I don't want to put it back in the drawer and start over. January is kind of like those. I really just need to get that you guys loved, enjoyed, and this is okay. I like, this one's all right. I like a, the the new concealer they have, the Candid one by Revlon. This is actually, by Revlon, this is my favorite right now. Do I have an all favorite? Yes. <laughs> and it's not Revlon. <laughs> but I want to use this one. This one I've had for a little while, for about two years. So it's time for it to um, finish getting used up. The next one is my eye base. <sighs> This is my NYX 
eye base, my eyeshadow base, and I do use it, as you can tell. So it has some use to it. I use it almost every day when I get ready for work. So it's a given. Next one, this a friend of mine gave me this one, and it is the Better Than by Too Faced, and it is the Easy Glide Waterproof liquid eyeliner. I actually don't have any on today. Go figure. <laughs> but I do you want to use this up. She gave it to me as a gift. I like it. It's not bad. I have a couple other glide one glide ons that really I like better. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Primer. This is my number seven radiance boosting primer. I usually use it for mixing up this foundation, which is a concentrate foundation by number seven. But I like how, I'll put a smidge in so you can see, um, the glow that it has, that pink, that gives me that little bit more shine under my foundation. Um, not all this is highlighter. Some of it is this primer. Well, it's one of the primers that I use. So I really like this one. So this is my primer that I want my airbrush away by radiance, and it's radiance. Uh, it is probably, I know a friend of mine kind of was surprised. It is like about $20 for this, but it's so worth it. I love it. I do. Let's just be honest. The next one is my liquid bronzer. Uh, I don't even think it has a, it's the light to medium, of course, and it's the Camilla Cabello L'Oreal. I've had this going on a year and a half, so I want to finish this up. Uh, <clears throat> and, you, you know, I'll, I'll use my sponge and then go up my cheeks and all that for it and stuff like that. I'm usually more of a, a stick, cream stick girl, but I'll use this. And like I said, this is in my project to use up. Did I put... I did. I <sighs> wasn't paying attention. I put something over in the wrong spot. Um, you don't go there. The other one is my a stick highlight. I don't think I marked these, did I? Mm. No, I didn't. Okay. It's my stick highlight. And this is by the Siate. This is the Dewy Stick. I think I tested it once. And it's got some really good. So we'll see how that is. It's brand new. Like I said, I've used it once. I mean, it, it, I, I don't, yeah, I only used it once. So... That's going in my highlighting cream because I do powder and cream. You're about to see this and laugh. The next one is this one. I've had it. It was a sample sent to me. It's a mascara. It's like Ico. What I didn't, and I just pulled it out today, but it's going in my project. I think I bent it. Ugh. I think it was supposed to be straight. I don't, I don't know. But it's, you know, it's in the tube. It. I don't want it to dry out. Um... You do definitely have to massage it to get the stuff on there. So that's going to be my mascara that I want to get some mileage on. The next one is a lip liner. It is my By Tattoo Junkie. It's like a deep uh, nude. So a lot of times with my nudes, because it's kind of like a, it's more of a red. But I use it for a lot of my lining of my lips for stuff so it doesn't bleed up. Um, I have a new line corrector serum that has been working great. So I don't have that issue that I used to have. So I am trying to use up my lip liners for the simple fact is with my new skincare stuff, the lines are going away. So it works. It's one of my holy grails. The next one is a bronzer, Bare Minerals Bronzer. This is Warmth, Endless Summer Bronzer Warmth. I think I t tested it once, so it's brand new. But like I s swatched it, it's a matte, very light. So we'll see how that goes. I just frankened some of my, because this is like one of my favorite palettes, my number seven. And I had a couple partials, so I franken those in here. So it's drying, so that's why I'm putting this one in here instead of working on my Franken bronzer. 
Got stuff in the wrong place in my makeup thing. Okay. Next one. This is a cream one. Also, this is CYO, which if you guys know, CYO is no longer around, which just breaks my heart. Ugh. But I have a cream shadow and blush called Tongue Tied, which I have used. It was part of my 10 times the love, which I am going to bring back. I love this cream. I just love what it does. I was using sticks and I was like, you know what? I want to use my cream blush. So this is going in this project because I love it and I don't want it to go bad. I'm very attached to it, honestly. Let's just be honest. This is my, see why it's Frankened. The highlighter it was a bronzing aluminum contact compact. It got dropped. It broke. So I had to fix it. So that's this one. And I just, like I said, I, <laughs> this is more like a finishing powder for me. And that's probably what I will use it as. It'll just do a little bit of highlight and stuff. So there's that one. Did I just put that in that row? Mm -hmm. Or are you too fat? You're too fat. Okay. Next one is my Botanics All Bright Hibiscus Eye Roll-On. I love this. My friend Lori will probably hate because it, it has the roll-on thing. But for room under my eyes, it massages, it circulates that. Um, the blood flow and all that. This one brightens. I just really like this, but I need to use it up. I've had it in here. It's gone in. It's been Mina. Stop. Mina. Mina. What are you? I think she just got caught in a blanket. Mina, 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 Mina. Where's my Mina? I lost you. Where's Mina? She's like a little pig in a blanket. Um, let me wrap this up so I can oh, rescue my... Okay, she rescued herself. So I don't have to worry. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Mina's with me. Okay, so that's my eye. Um, and I have so many eye different ones. So I, I have a bunch that I need to use up. Um, one of them... Did I put this? I did. I put it over here. This is a lip scrub by Wet n Wild. It is the orange one. I have used it a few times. I have a lip scrub brush that I stick in there, or I have because I don't like to stick. I don't like to stick my fingers in this stuff. So I have a, a like a palette that I use to get it out and then rub it on my lips. I don't like tubs, so I want to get the lip scrub tubs out of my collection. I like. We're going back to Revlon. It's a Revlon thing. I love how the Revlon does theirs. This is how I want my lip scrubs. I want to be able to do this and be done. That's just the gist of it. I don't like stick. I don't want the stuff on my fingers. I don't want it in my fingernails. I hate sticking my finger in tubs. Even with my skincare, like I have this little Cica pair and, and stuff. I have a little palette knife that literally goes in. I scrape a little bit out. Then I put it on. I don't like to dip my fingers into stuff. It's just a thing. So that's why. So got distracted by the puppy. I can't help it. The next is a serum, and this is my balancing skin concentrate. So this helps balance my skin when the you know discoloration, hydration, all that kind of stuff. And this is by Your Good Skin. Um, it's supposedly it's a 28 day supply in this bottle. I obviously, I don't know if I don't use it as much or I don't put it on as thick. I do like it. It does what it says it does. It makes me very happy. Um, but it takes me more than 28 days. So this will take. Plus, because I also have my anti-aging, because I'm a grandma, I'm an older woman, um, I also use my number seven anti-aging serum. This has no anti-aging properties. This is just for skin care, health, vitamin C, green tea, just like I said, it's for balancing. It's to restore and maintain your natural balance in your skin, which I love. Mm. That's what I want. I want that in my skincare routine. The next one is my L'Oreal Lash Serum Solution. I got this to try. Um, L'Oreal sent it to me. It's okay. I like it for 
course, then I have this hole right here, so I don't know what the heck I did. Um, I did something. But I like actually using it in my brows versus my lashes. This is not going to help your lash growth. Um, it, for me, it, my lashes, it strengthens my lashes so that they don't get pulled out with mascara or cleaning off mascara and stuff so I don't have fallout. Does that make sense that I'm not losing lashes? So it helps strengthen the lash, the lashes within there and stuff. Doesn't make them thicker, doesn't make it longer, not for me. The eyebrows and stuff too, it's just reassuring. Except like I said, I don't know what I did. I really don't. I'll figure it out tomorrow. I've, it, it's been a contention of mine all like stinking day. <laughs> one of the last ones is my BR. Uh, my Sir Water Charcoal one. It's almost gone. It's not going to take long, but it's usually what I use to clean the eye makeup off under my eyes and, and such. So I don't use a whole lot at once. And I like this small container. So it's very handy for on my desk versus the large ones, which I have. This is my significant other project pan. Look how big this is. So I need to get this used up so I can start using this. Um, this is by Burt's Bees. I'm not a Burt's Bees person, but I bought this. I'm going to try it. My husband chose it for me to use up in my other project pan. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But like I said, um, I like... On my, on my makeup station, my makeup workspace, I like this size versus this size setting on my desk. So this might be used after I use it up. I might use this refill that way. Just so it's that way. Just just saying. Just saying. But anyway. Um, that is all that's in my team project pan right now. I hope everybody else enjoys doing this project. Um, please check out the other ones. Like I said, uh, the just buy the makeup and kit snitch they cat and Haley. I love them. I watch them all the time. They're from Australia. They live in Australia. They're Australian. <laughs> Period. So they're going into the summer months. So their kind of like plan is different than ours where we're like all bundled up. Uh, but they created this just for, just to get to work on products, but not to be as project pan decisive or obsessed. I like to enjoy my makeup. I do project painting. The ones I do do is for me to get enjoyment out of what I have because I have an exclu a very large collection. That's the best way to say it. I have a very large collection. Um, excessive. But I love it and I love playing with it and I love having fun with it. So I will keep doing it. Um, you'll see some get ready with me's. You'll see some hauls. I'm not just exclusively a project painter. Project painting is what got me into this. But I'm finding that I don't want to obsess about using up my stuff and not enjoying it. I want to enjoy it. So team project pan to me is really good. There are other projects that I am working on. I have an excessive amount of lipsticks. So I have a project pan for my lipsticks that I'm working on if you're interested. I have a eyeshadow project pan that Erin from, she lives in the UK, I adore Erin, just, oh, I keep talking about her. I think I, I think I talked to her in like five of my videos because I'm so excited that she came up with this project and I just enjoy, I enjoy her videos. She has followed me when she was on Instagram before she started doing her YouTube videos. So to me, I have just totally enjoyed her. <laughs> she means a lot to me. Um, and Claire Elizabeth is another uh, UKer that I really, really um, enjoy their content. And they are more, like I said, more towards the project panning, while I'm more towards the panning, but playing with my pans. So, anyway, I hope everybody, so yeah, check out that if you want to know about fragrance, Hanging with Lori, Lori L. I love both of them. Uh, Aaron, Claire Elizabeth, they're just so fun. Nona, if you want to do Get Ready With Me looks, uh, my so-called life, 1977. She's fantastic. Now, most of these, other than, of course, Kat and Haley, most of these um, YouTubers that I'm so attached to, they are smaller YouTubers. These aren't people that have, like, um, 10,000, 20,000 
followers. They are small. Um, so any support you can give them, thank you. I love them. I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm doing this just so I can really focus on and play and give me some enjoyment out of my stuff. You know, I'm over 40. I'm almost 50. Uh, I'm a grandma. But I love my makeup. I love what I do with my makeup. I love my skincare. I love skincare. Um, there's so many small YouTubers. I guess I should do a small YouTuber tag and why I love watching them. Maybe I should do that. But anyway, please enjoy my team project pan. Am I on a no buy? No. The new drugstore makeups come out in January. I'm in trouble. I've already got a collection started <laughs> that I want so bad. Um, February, I usually can do a no buy. I can do part months. I can't do a whole year. I have friends that have done like year, which they still get stuff. So I'm not quite sure what the you no know buy. To me, no buy means no buy. <laughs> Um, I could go on a no-buy and I wouldn't run out of anything other than maybe cotton pads. That's about it. Maybe my wipes and my, my, my cotton rounds. That might be it. Uh, fragrance, foundation. I have over 100 foundations, over 900 lipsticks, over 300 eyeshadow palettes, uh, blush, bronzers, over 100. So it's not like um, I'd run out. Other than, like I said, maybe some of my skincare stuff. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But I hope, like I said, everybody have a wonderful day. Enjoy your project pans. Enjoy uh, checking out everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.